Welcome to Mac Nirvana, your path to digital harmony. In this video, we're going to start looking at Apple's touchscreen technology. We're talking about the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch. All these devices run on a piece of software called iOS, and your foundation for interacting with iOS is called the home screen. It is called this because it's your home base for anything that you do within iOS. And like the Mac, it's made up of three areas, the status bar, the home page, and the dock. Let's start with the status bar. The status bar provides you with basic information about your device, such as the amount of battery remaining, the time of day, and what type of wireless network you're connected to. There's really only one interactive part to the status bar, and this is only if you're on iOS 5 or iOS 6, and this is called Notification Center. So what I'd like you to do is place your finger directly on the time, and now swipe or run your finger from the time at the top of the screen down towards the bottom. We call this a swipe. This menu is your notification center. It will list recent emails, messages, the weather, stocks, and anything else that you have set up to appear within notification center. We will go into more depth on how to customize your notification center in later videos. For now, you just need to be familiar with the status bar. So if I say, look at your status bar to see your network connection, you'd look up here in the left-hand corner. Next is a home page itself. It's this big part here in the middle. Now, it's important to note that I said a home page and not the home page. That is because iOS will allow you to have up to 11 home pages on your device. A home page is where all your apps and folders containing apps are stored. Notice these dots along the bottom of the home page. Two are gray and one is white. This is because I have three total home pages on this particular device. And these dots are showing us that we're currently on page one of three. To move between one home page to the next, I place my finger on the screen and swipe left to right or right to left. I like to think of these home pages as slides or columns. While I can have many slides or columns, the screen can only show me one at a time. The others are just sort of floating off there in the wings, either stage left or stage right, and it is by swiping that we bring them center stage. The home pages are laid out in a linear manner, meaning that home pages won't go around from the last page to the first, so I can't continue around in a circular manner. If I reach the end of the dots, I have to go back the way I came. But here's a quick tip. If you get to the far end of your home pages and don't want to do all that swiping to get back to the first page, simply click your home button once and iOS will take you back to the first home page. Now remember, I said that there can be up to 11 home pages. Why do I only have three dots? Where are the rest? Good question. iOS will only create as many home pages as are needed. Your device came out of the box with two home pages. If you added apps and bookmarks that filled more than those two pages can hold, iOS will automatically create a new home page to the right and continue to add home pages as needed. Now there is a page here that isn't a home page. If you swipe left to right enough times, you reach the spotlight page. Now you can see here next to the dots, this little icon, it's a magnifying glass. Spotlight is a search page. It doesn't contain any apps or folders, it's just kind of gray with this text field at the top. If we type into this search field, we get results from all over the phone, contacts, email messages, apps, music, and more. We will explore Spotlight in future videos. What you need to take away right now is if you end up on this screen by accident, swipe right to left or click your home button once to return to the first home page. Let's recap the home page. It contains icons for apps and folders that contain apps. There can be as many as 11 home pages, but only if you have the content to go on to 11 home pages. Otherwise, you'll have less. Clicking your home button once will take you back to the first home page. Swipe right to left or left to right to move between home pages. And look at the dots along the bottom of the home page to see which page you're on in relation to the other pages. The last section of the home screen is the dock. This is it along the bottom edge here. The first thing to point out about the dock is it doesn't move. Look, as I swipe between home pages, the dock and its contents don't move at all. The dock on iOS is a place to put your most often used apps. This means that you can add your favorite apps to the dock while removing the ones that you don't use. How? 
We're going to cover that in a future tutorial. I know it's a bit of a tease, but the topic deserves its own tutorial. All right, so let's review. This is the iOS home screen. It's made up of three areas, the status bar, a home page, and the dock. And that's the fundamentals of the iOS home screen. Thank you for spending this time with me. If you'd like to continue growing in knowledge and confidence with your Mac, iPhone, iPad, or other Apple products, please email info at macnirvana.com. We provide individualized training both in person and live over the web. We also offer group and business training and consulting. For more information, visit us on the web at www.macnirvana.com for more details. For Mac Nirvana LLC, this is Rob wishing you happy computing and may your headphone jack remain lint-free.